ดมก่อนไหนสิเนี่ยShalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kodesh. We say double honors and give double honors to the apostles of the apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim, the Apostle Four Corners of the Great, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'm a brother go by Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another quick lesson. And it's inspired by this video that you see in front of you. So uh, apparently, this video was supposed to be from Nevada, uh, July 29, 2023, and that was yesterday. All right, and you seen, you saw the chariots, you saw a helicopter, and I don't think I played it long enough, but there's a, um, a fighter jet following these three chariots, and possibly four chariots that were flying in the sky. Okay, and, and like like the brother, this is from I think this is from the, the elder. Uh, Daniel Alice page GMS, GMS News a mock, right? Definitely subscribe to his page, and you'll be extremely edified by seeing different chariots of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, which is chariots of Israel flying over the uh, flying over the earth, all right? And like like the title says, things are about to get real out here, exactly, you know. And then a brother uh, Otis Yashar Allah posted on his page. It said it's over for the rulers of this world. You know, you got these Edomites, super elite Edomites, trying to establish a new world order, with, which basically is the same world order of, of, the, of the Edomite rulership, but they're trying to do it in, um, discreetly. Um, and, and what they want to ultimately do is enslave the Israelites and all the other nations that are upon this earth unto themselves, therefore uh, carving out for themselves uh, a technological uh, blessing. That was really taken away from them. And ultimately, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to punish this world via the, via the nuclear fire, via the chariots, via the destruction that's going to be here before both of those things uh, actually uh, come to fruition upon this earth in completion. And the Lord's going to use the chariots to punish the nations, man. You know, it's been a long time. You know, Esau was able to make these movies. These different, write these books, you know, create this BS narrative about the operators of these chariots. But we know that the operators of these chariots are the angels, our brothers, the angels of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. And in fact, Yahweh Shai uh, drove one, one of those chariots. One of the greatest chariots was the one that uh, was used to deliver us from, from Egypt via Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai through Moses. And you had that pillar by day, pillar of uh, a cloud, or I'm sorry, a cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night. Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21, and it says, and the Lord went before them by, and the Lord went before them, the them are the Israelites, all right, and the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them, oh, to lead them the way. And by night, in a pillar of fire, to give them light, to go by day and night. That's right, because you had, during a time when we were uh, walking out of Sakoth, which you read the previous verse, it says in, in verse 20, all right, uh, Exodus 13, 20, and they took their journey from Sakoth and encamped in Ephraim in the edge of the wilderness, right? And back then, it was pitch black outside, man. There wasn't no street lights and lamps. So that chariot that Yahweh Shah was driving, all right, gave us uh, a, a way through the night so that we can see until the day. And that chariot didn't leave us. It stayed with us even in the daytime as a, a, a cloud by day, 
All right. Yeah, yeah. Let me read it again. And Yahweh, Bashmi Yahushai, went before them by day and pillar and a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire and to give them light to go by the day and night. All right. And those, that chariot was also used to, to strike down Pharaoh's army that was chasing after us. All right. Now the Lord's going to use these chariots that you see right in front of you. You can't doctor this up. You can't make this up. This is reality. And if, and if, let's say, let's say Esau try to put this together, right? Guess what? You're going to see him live and live and, and direct right in your face when Yahweh Shai comes back and takes his planet over because it's his planet anyway and takes his kingdom and rescues his people, the elect of Israel. Well, one will be some of those people. All right. But this is how the Lord is going to punish you, you, you nations, man. And he's going to punish America. He's going to punish you Edomites. This is Zechariah 5 and 1, the flying scroll. All right. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. That's right, which is a chariot. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And every and every one that sweareth shall be cut off. As on that side, according to it, and I will bring it forth, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai of hosts, because the Lord Yahweh Shai is the, 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 the God of, of armies, man. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. Where are we at? We are in the house of the thief. This is not supposedly this is Nevada, 29th, 2023, right? And this is the house of the thief. How did Esau establish America? He stole it. How did Esau uh, um, build up? this kingdom that he has here, primarily America. He stole the Israelites and enslaved them from the northern and the southern kingdom, mainly from the southern kingdom, but nonetheless, he stole our people. So this, to these chariots, they fly over the earth and Esau tries to cover it up. Like recently they had something where they claiming that they were speaking, to, well, they, they must have spoke to the House of Congress and they had a panel and, they, and the Edomite said that they got, they have um, chariots that crashed to the earth and they also got the beings that were in there right yeah Esau wish you could have that but nonetheless they had this and they have to talk about it now because you can't hide it no more everybody got a camera phone everybody got a, their own personal camera their own telescopes you know and people are recording these things the Lord putting it, the spirit on these people to record these things and soon you're not just gonna see it on a video you're gonna see it live in, and in person and when you do they're going to be doing one of two things, either saving the elect or giving everybody else the great Wapo Zappo as a possible bar coin. All right. OK. So it says, then said he, verse three, Zechariah five and three, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth for every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off on that side, according to it. Verse 4, and I will bring it forth, saying, Yahweh Bashiach Shai of hosts, and shall and it shall enter into the house of the thief, <coughs> and in the house of him that swear falsely by my name, the Edomites. And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, uh, and the stone thereof, because the Lord's going to use these chariots that shoot concentrated lasers, fire out of them. He also going to have nuclear fire. By way of the nuclear missiles that's sending on this place. All right. So destruction is coming, total destruction. The Lord is going to use total destruction to by the chariots and the nuclear fire to destroy this place, man. All right. <coughs> I'm gonna read this with the say and I'll see, see what it said. It said, Then said he unto me, This scroll contains the curse that is going out over the entire land. One side of the scroll says, says that those who still will be banished. From the land, yep. And the other side says that those who swear falsely will be banished from the land. Yeah, and that's what's going to happen in America. You know, you people are going to be banished from this land. You're going to be burnt the fuck up. So nobody's going to be living on this land. This is Isaiah, but guess what? Not only are these the chariots 
of the Most High, and it's going to bring destruction. They also are signaling a sign for our salvation. It says what? Uh, when I uh, look up. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. Yep, Luke 21 and 28, okay? And it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. That's right, man. So when we see these chariots being more visual, because um, these chariots are slowed down. They're they, they playing with Esau. You know, them, it, those helicopters and that fighter jet behind it, it wasn't escorting the chariots. They were following the chariots. But the chariots slowed themselves down. These things can move faster than the speed of light, faster than your eye on the earth, you know? But when we see these things, we look up, we understand that what our salvation draweth not, all right? These, we, they don't scare us. We're not scared. You know, we know who, who's operating them. And we know what spirit they come in there. The spirit of Yahweh Bashmi was shy. And those that are operating it are the angels, which are our brothers, all right? And they're going to do damage to you, along with our big brother, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, okay? The Lord said, uh, so again, this is for us is peace, but for the devil is not. Verse Isaiah 45 and 5, And Yahweh Bashan shall we create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day. And they shine flame and fire by night. The same thing that he did for us in Exodus, he's going to do for us when 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 our kingdom is established on this earth. When it, okay, over every dwelling place, over every house is going to be a chariot. And it says, For upon all the glory shall be a defense, right? So we're not going to need an iron dome when we get home. Salakia. All right, yeah. So uh again, that what I was saying was Salakia. Hey, the brother Kahan Allah just got to the spot. So, hey. Hey, shalom. Akiyam, y'all. Bashim, ashah. Bashim, kavadash, bakitam. Kahan, Kahan. So, it's a blessing, man. The Lord brought us together real quick to do the, to finish up this lesson. Um, What was I at? So, again, these chariots that you see, they're going to be here for one or two reasons. One, either they, they destroy them or they're saving the children of Israel. And they're going to be a protection for our people when our kingdom is established. So, again, Isaiah 44 and 5. The Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assembly a cloud and a smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all all the glory shall be a for upon all the glory shall be a defense. So again, so we're not gonna need no uh no iron dome like they got in uh in Israel today, the state of Israel today. We're not gonna need no missile defense system, we're not gonna need no anti aircraft missile protection okay we're going to have these these chariots that you see flying right here they, they're going to be littering our skies man all right and they're going to be over every israelite home all right over every dwelling place okay and they're going to be a protection for us and they're protecting us now the hopeful elect you see the you see the helicopter in the distance you see the three chariots flying close too and it's supposed to be july 29th 2023 Right, and it's those. It's one, two, three, and I think it's another one behind it that's not a, a disc shape. But this is going to be our protection. Unlike Esau uses these fighter jets and these helicopters for his protection, you know, dropping missiles on, and missiles on bombs on people. All right. So again, it's going to be what a protection over the dwelling place of our of our of our of our uh, a defense. Let me read that in the NLT, see what it says. And you can jump anytime you want, brother. It says, the Lord will pro pro provide shade for, for Mount Zion and all who assembled them. He will provide a canopy of a cloud during the day and a smoke of flaming fire at night, covering the glorious land. So we're going to have chariots all over. That's going to be our defense system. Not that you nations going to mount up any type of offense against us, you know. I don't know if you brought this uh, Luke 21 and 28 on. Oh, bring it out here. So this is uh, Luke 20, 21 and verse 28. 
It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw nine. And, that, and that's the spirit. Yep, go ahead, man. Yeah, and if you read, you know, from the uh, 25th verse, it tells you that what? That there's going to be, you know, signs in the moon and in oh. the sun uh, and destruction of, of nations upon the earth, which is what? The 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 builder for the, the end time judgment, yeah. you know? And then it tells us that <clears throat> on verse 27, well, let me read it from the 25th. Uh, Luke 21 and 25th, it says, and then... Uh, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth mm -hmm. for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yeah, these nations, there when they see these blood moons, the Satanists, they use them as ritual days. But when they see these, the, they see the, the moon go a certain color, they see the, the sun get eclipsed. Okay, they see different signs in heaven, they get scared. Cause they know that the end is coming for them. The the end of this whole kingdom, this Edomite kingdom, is is near at hand. All right, go ahead. Oh, verse twenty seven it says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in <clears throat> in a cloud with power and great and great glory. And it's not talking about no uh no cumulus cloud, all right, no nimbus. It's talking about a cherry. A huge chariot that we can't even describe the length or weight thereof. All right, but he's gonna be standing on top of it. All right, and that's again the super elite. They know that the Lord is coming. They know that the the the, the apostles and the bishop elders and the brothers on down. They know that the hopeful the elect is out here today pro proclaiming the Lord's word, and they know what time it is. That's why Esau creates these narratives. About big head aliens. I saw a video. They talking about they had a meeting. This is a video from a meeting with an alien. It's a dark room. They got some big ass headed gray aliens with some big ass black eyes, man. Nah, brother. Nah, <laughs> brother. Those ain't the operators of the chariots of the Most High. I don't know if did you see that video of the, uh, the UFO? Uh, they had a at the, at the House of the Congress. I will look it up, brother. It's like I'm over here studying. Got this. Uh, me and a brother just looked this up just now. We had a UFO hearing on the 24th of um, of this month. And then yesterday, the 29th, this is supposed to have happened. All right. Now, we're not saying Esau don't uh, use his projects, his wickedness to try to drum up fear with people. But we know that these are real, too. All right. And the reason why they're bringing it out, because they can't hide it no more. And then I was telling tell the brother, the priest, I was like, yo, they're not wasting no money. To, to, to just have no big ass hearing about some fake bullshit. That ain't happening. Now they just trying to control the narrative. Movies made about his story over the last six years. And again, Congress pulls him in and he tells the same story. Uh, Ryan Graves, we've heard his story since I believe 2019. And we, again, documentaries made about his story. Tons of media coverage on his story. He's brought in where he tells the same story. Dave Grush, who was, you know, did a huge interview on News Nation and spilled the beans about yeah, aliens. They talking about he's talking about a crash alien. David Grush story about crash alien UFOs was first published in twenty uh, June fifth, twenty twenty three. And there is no crash UFOs, bro. The chariot seat the chariots, these are not they don't operate like this trash that Esau got in the earth. You gotta fly on gas, you gotta refuel, you can shoot something at it. Come on, bro. These, these are disc-shaped objects. They ain't got no propelling system at all. Quiet as a mouse. You know what I'm saying? They ain't leaving no chemtrails. They ain't leaving none of that. So how the hell are you going? How you going to blow something up, or or it's going to crash? Or uh, an angel was driving. He was leaning too far in the chariot, <laughs> and he hit something. Uh, hit a bump, and so then he he fell. But just you know, Esau controlling the narrative. He's a, he's a liar, man. Uh, comes in and and again offered nothing new. The big headline. Yeah, they say they, they, they're not going to give you nothing new because they can't give you nothing new. We're giving you the new. We're giving you the truth. All right. Nothing new. Well, let's talk about evidence because uh, that's been the main thing that's been lacking. Yeah, the they don't have any evidence because there is no crash UFOs. There is no aliens that they grabbed up and choked up and let Will Smith punch out. That ain't happening, Jack. But this is this is the Esau. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. 
No, yeah, and I was gonna say, you know, Esau, you know, the scriptures say that the uh the uh that the dragon dragon and his angels were gonna fight yeah. against um uh, the Lord and, and his angels. Yeah. And Esau needs uh, money for that. So how is yeah. he gonna, you know, acquire all this money? He gotta put fear into the people to accept being taxed and all this shit to to build up that money. Cause really Esau knows that whether he knows that it's the Lord or whether he knows it's an extraterrestrial force. Oh, he knows it's the know, Lord. He knows there's something there. So he wants to, to fight it. That's why he's preparing for it. You know, and now he just has to deceive the people into one, give them money for weapons, and two, to join to join the forces to fight, man. Yeah. Because who's going to pilot all these, you know, airplanes and, and, and you know, shoot the, the weapons? They need manpower for all that stuff, man. Yeah. You know, so this is part of that, that deception that Esau is going to, you know, put forth amongs the people. But um, back in uh, Luke 21 and 27, it says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming with a cloud with great power and great glory. And when they see these things, and when he, Salaki, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth not. Right. Yeah. Right. And that's when our, our redemption is going to come now, you know, because even though Jacob's struggle may be going on, we still don't know exactly when it's going to, the, the, the deliverance is going to happen. But when we see Yahweh Shai coming, and the, the chariots, because it's going to be more than just three or four chariots, man. That's it's right. going to be an, an armada of yeah. UFO, uh, yeah. UFO so-called. That's, right. that's right. And that's when we're going to know, like, yo, Yahweh Shai is right here coming for us, man. Yeah. So then we're going to look up and call upon Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, man, and, and hope and pray that we part of that number. Yeah. And it's going to be a, a, a terrible scene, man. Right now, the chariots are just, you know, or showing themselves or peacefully, mm -hmm. but when they come with Yahweh Shah, it's gonna be an, a whole nother story, man. Yeah, it's gonna be violent, man. The scripture right. said, "With us by violence, so that city be broken down, man." You right. know, the the and, and Esau don't got nothing. No, ain't no bullet, ain't no missile, ain't no drone. None of that could could defeat the powers of Yahweh Shah. You know, right. and and like the brother was saying, when all hell is breaking loose, look, we know that our redemption is gonna be. Right there at the door. You know, most Jake, they're not going to have that hope. They go, oh, my God, look at that. Oh, my God. People are having heart attacks and shit. They're going to see your was shot, standing on a chariot, coming with the glory, with his glory. They're going to be falling out, man. But we've been preaching about this since we woke up to the truth. We've been believing in this since we woke up to the truth. And even before that, in our past lives, man, this is the day we've been looking for. This is not a day Esau is looking forward to. This is not something he's looking for. So most people, when they do see the chariot, oh, that's Project Blue Beam. Oh, that's Elon Musk. Oh, that's Musky up there with them, you know, with his with his 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 his, his uh, internet, uh, what you call them things, satellites. No, nah, man, we're gonna know that that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's not an alien. It ain't an extraterrestrial. That's the chariot to the Most High. That's the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. That's all you had on that. Yeah. Uh, it's Second Edges chapter thirteen, verse five. And that you can break it down. And after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. I don't need to lock any start up. Really, uh, I'll start at the top. It is second edge chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that is that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld and lo that lo, that man waxed strong. With the thousands of heaven, and when he and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. That's right, and that sea that is talking about is the the skies, man. You know, Yahweh Shai is gonna come into this, you know, realm through you know through the chariots. I mean, with the chariots through the through the heavens, man. You know, so you're gonna see him like we mentioned before with an armada of of uh, of chariots, man, of UFOs. With the thousands of heaven, and when it says, and when and when they turn his, when he turned his countenance to look, all things tremble uh, that were seen under him. Because unlike Project Blue Beam, you know Esau has a plan or whatever he's gonna do with the Blue Beam, but it's not to destroy his own kingdom. Yeah, you know, it's to send the message of like, listen to Esau, pretty much. Yeah. But the Lord is coming with another plan, which is to what? To destroy this kingdom, man. So when people see Yahweh shine that chariot with that all stare look. 
people are gonna know like yo they're coming to fucking destroy this place yeah and that's when people are gonna start like the other mention dropping dead man from heart attacks uh people are gonna in those days gonna stroke be out in, in, in jacob's trouble yeah. so people are gonna look into the skies and be like oh shit now we're fucked, fucked. Yeah. like that shit yeah. there's no hope yeah, everything everything all happening at once like that movie that you got everything all happening at once you're gonna have all hell breaking loose, famine, war breaking out, cause war gonna be already broke out. Slap it, slap it, bro. No, you were saying that uh, oh, everything's gonna be happening. Oh yeah, 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 kind of the water, brother. Yeah, everything gonna be happening all at once. So you are gonna have famine breaking out, uh, uh, war, war, chaos in the streets, pestilence, pestilence you know, and then the chariots gonna come on top of that, and then the missiles coming behind that. So it's gonna be that's everything happening at once. It's like every that's a that's like all these action and science sci-fi movies, or and 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 government movies all at once happening. So people are gonna be really losing their mind. Then because they're gonna be like, look, all hell's breaking loose on the earth. So that means the economy collapsed. The money's jacked up. Uh, third world war is breaking out. People are fucking starving. You know what I'm saying? And then then on top of that, the chariots. They're like, oh, they fucked. People are gonna be like, they're fucked. But the the elect them. This is what we hope for. Even when Jacob's trouble happened, this is what we hope for. And we know that ain't gonna be a period of a year or three years, four years. No, it's all gonna be happening fast. All this happening fast. The Lord bringing this to a close. He wrapping this shit up. You know what I'm saying? And then he gonna bring in that triumphant moment. Dun, 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 dun. Yahweh Shai coming, man. And that's a wrap. Once he's, there's no turning back. There's no turning back before that. But come on, bro. It's like, this is it. And that's something that people are not looking for. An angry, Black man, so-called black man, standing on top of a chariot with a heavenly host of angels. Okay, and they're not hiding themselves. You see, and you gonna have demons on the earth, uh, 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 angel spirits of, uh, of the Most High showing themselves in the open. Teeth, wild animals that you ain't never seen before, with electricity coming out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Sharp ass talons and claws and shit. It's gonna be every movie, <laughs> literally every movie you ever try to go see, happening in one day. To people, man, it's gonna be literally um, the the worst case scenario for everybody outside of the truth. Yeah, that's right. Everybody yeah. outside of the elect, man. And the scriptures tell us that you know it's gonna be like if you're uh, fleeing from a lion. Yeah. And then you meet a bear, and and then you know you lean yourself against the wall, and a, a serpent bit you. Yeah. You know, so literally anybody outside of the truth, man, is pretty much asked out. It's gonna man. be the the worst case scenario, man. Yeah. And then people don't don't like to. Um, they don't like to meditate on 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 bad scenarios, I guess you would yeah. say. But man, if 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 those type of things don't put the fear in the Lord upon you to repent and turn, you know, to righteousness for forgiveness, man, then you deserve those things that are coming, man. Yep. You know, you choose to ignore the the fear of the Lord. Guess what? He's gonna bring it upon you. That's why Proverbs, the first chapter says that what that that he's gonna uh, bring uh he's gonna mock. When your fear come in, yep. or when when you're when it comes as a as a whirlwind, roughly paraphrasing. God. So all the things that you fear in life, man, the Lord's gonna use it against you in those days. You know why? Because He has sent first and foremost Yahweh Shah, His Son, to to give you the message. And Jake, you Jake's gave up Yahweh Shah to be killed by the Romans, man. Mm -hmm. And then He sent all the prophets. And what'd you do? You did the same thing. You know, mock, killed them. You know, so in these last times, man, once the Lord shuts that door of mercy, there's no turning back. There's no more mercy. There's no more love for nobody, man. That's right. Well, it's Proverbs 1 and 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. It says uh, verse 27. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but shall not find me. Right. And in, and in those days... All of you people that ignored, you know, the word of Yah by Shem Shai, you're going to be thinking upon all those encounters, whether it be in, in person that you met the, the, the prophets out in the streets, or whether you clicked on a video and just scoffed and, and put comments and shit. You're going to remember those things and say, damn, those those men were speaking the truth about the Lord. And now you're pretty much asked out. You're going to be bugging out, man. Yep. Just thinking on what the Lord is about to do to you, because these words that we're speaking, you know, is the, the the heavenly Father that's putting His Spirit upon us, man. Yeah. And it's in the in the in the book we're reading that the Lord's gonna mock when your fear cometh, man. When when calamity 
you know, uh, comes when, when the things that you fear the most come upon you, which the Lord's going to bring upon you, he's going to laugh, man. And you're going to know that we, Lord willing, will be part of the, the elect, that we're going to be somewhere uh, being delivered, laughing at you people's judgment, man. Yeah, yeah and the NLT, it says, um, so I will laugh when you're when you are in trouble. I will mock when you when disaster overtakes you. And y'all don't like that kind of God. Y'all don't like that kind of power because you've been told your whole life that God loves everybody. And he just wants you to prosper. And he just wants you to overcome your haters. You know, he told you that bullshit. You've been told that bullshit. But when disaster comes, it's always Satan. Oh, ain't nothing but Satan. When bad times come, ain't nothing but Satan. No, Moses said he create evil. He create good and dark light. Uh, he create light and darkness. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. And he going to use us to laugh through you ain't gonna see that you're gonna hear a big laughter in the, in the crowds like, oh, 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 oh. no it's gonna be brothers laughing like a motherfucker at y'all telling you i told y'all dumbass that's what the fuck you get huh yes yeah, what you get that's right that's exactly what you get going back in the second address chapter 13 verse 3 it says and i beheld and lo that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven and when he turned his countenance he to look all the things trembled that were seen under him and in the good news translation all right. In a good news translation, it says, verse three, as I watched, the wind brought with it out of the sea what looked like a man. And he was flying and he was flying on the clouds. And we ain't talking about the white clouds we see out there. We're talking about chariots, man. And when he turned his face, everything he looked at began to tremble. Man, motherfucker's going to be scared. We're going to be scared. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be praising him. But we're going to be scared. Everybody's going to be scared. All right. Where is for it, man? It says, uh, and where, where else, wheresoever his voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth filleth when it filleth the fire. Yep. Where, and it says, and when he spoke, everyone who heard his voice melted like wax in a fire, because that's what the nuclear missile is going to be happening. At, remember, everything happening at once, all at once. You know, y'all going to be melting. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be fucking melting, man. Verse 5. It says, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of the number from the four winds of heaven to subdue that man that came out of the sea. All right. And it says, but I beheld and lo, he had grazed himself a great mountain and flew upon it. And in the, in the GNT, it says, and verse five, I looked again and I saw the crowd too large to count. They were people gathered together from all parts of the world. So that remember, World War Three is happening at this time. So he's going to be different. Uh, uh, fighter pilots and drone operators from all 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 over the earth. China ain't gonna be fighting America no more. Russia ain't gonna be fighting America no more. They're gonna try to join together and say we gotta fight against him. We gotta throw it. We gotta throw it at him. It says um, it says and I um and I saw a crowd too large to count. They were they they were people gathered together from all parts of the world to fight against the man who had come out of the sea. Then I watched the man carve out a high mountain and fly upon it. I tried to see the place of the region from which the mountain was carved, but I couldn't. Then I saw that all the people who had come together to make war against him were terrified, but they still prepared to fight him. So he's going to put the spirit on these different um, military men, these pilots, because they're going to, they, you think these, these pilots that was following these chariots wasn't scared? They, you know they were scared, but they under they under a strict rule. They can't talk about it. You know th those images ain't supposed to get out there like that. But that's another reason why this devil wants to curb the internet, right? Or call it a hoax. Remember he he got he got his he got his Edomites, he got these Edomites these three Edomites up here lying, out of their out of their mouth. He had these three so called eyewitnesses, but they ain't, they they ain't give you no proof. Oh yeah, I'm slide there. Yeah, these devils right here, they ain't give you no proof. They, they just look like a fucking liar, yeah. you know? But we're giving you the truth. We're telling you everything that's going to happen before it happened. Because we are serious of the Most High, of Yahweh Bashan was shot, right? And so they're going to try to fight. They ain't, ain't going to be able to do shit. They're going to be so scared that they're going to they're gonna have to fight. You ain't got no choice but to fight. They like, <laughs> like, uh, like Spence last night, man. He was in the ring. He had no chance but to fight. If he wasn't prepared, if he if he wasn't on time, if he was high like he looked, 
You know what I'm saying? Guess what? He had to keep fighting. And Bud put the beats on him. And Yahweh Shah is going to put the beats on you either, my man. You're going to look worse than uh, Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, since then I saw all the people who had come together to make war against him were terrified, but they still prepared to fight him. When the man saw the great crowd advancing to attack him, he did not take up any weapons. The only thing I saw was, was what looked like a stream of fire coming out of his mouth. So there's a light, uh, laser beam, man. You know what I'm saying? And he sent a flaming wind from his place and a storm of sparks from his tongue. The stream of fire and a flaming wind and a great storm combined. So it could be that fire coming out of the chariot. Well, hey, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if y'all was shy if he did it out of his mouth. It just blew. You know, like you see that on movies all the time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Burning them motherfuckers up. <laughs> and it says, and he swept down. It says, <laughs> so okay. And he and swept down on a crowd that was coming to attack him and burned them all up in a single moment. That crowd, too large to count, vanished. And there was nothing left but powdery ashes and the smell of smoke. I was shocked when I saw what happened. Right, man. And that's a Thanos moment, man. That's a straight up fuck Thanos. That's the Howard Shine moment, man. That's all you're going to talk about. And you ain't going to make no movies that don't compare to the reality of what really happened. We're going to show you right there. You're going to beat it. That's right. And everybody in the world going to see this, man. Like you there that, that uh that movie uh ID four Independence Day, right? But Independence Day they had that one scene where they had the chariot and then they had all of these fighter jets coming to swoop in and do something and you know none of the missiles hit the penetrated the barrier or whatever or at the end it ended up a nuclear missile a drunk a drunk Edomite crazy ass Edomite flew a nuclear missile and put a kamikaze move and he killed the ships and everything else just fell. Nah, man, you ain't going to be able to touch the fathership and then and the other chariots just fall to the earth and you're going to be, yeah, we won. You ain't got it, man, because the Lord gave you all the weapons. He wants you to fight. He gave Esau this super technology that y'all don't even know about yet. He gave him he gave him the idea to create the, the atom bomb that put that devil uh, Robert Oppenheimer up to create the atom bomb, which became a nuclear bomb. To do what? To destroy yourselves, man. Yeah, and then even, you know, pilots that have, you know, uh, uh, spoken about it, they say that, that what, that the, the way the chariots move, that there's no technology right now up to date that, that can do anything similar to what the chariots do. So you think that what, that you're just going to throw a nuke and fucking your so-called strongest weapon and, and the Lord can't fucking deflect it or deactivate it? Yeah. Hell no, man. Yeah. The Lord, like <laughs> the brother mentioned, the Lord gave you all those things, man. Yep. So he knows, uh, unlike you Edomites, he knows how to put the, the atom back uh, together, man. Yeah. So even if you so-called throw a, a nuclear bomb at the cherries, man, they could, in seconds, less than seconds, close the atoms together again, and that fucking missile would just drop to the ground, and that's yep. it, man. Yep. Fuck, you're just an <laughs> idiot, man. Get out of here, man. So, uh... Uh, this is Isaiah 34, 1. Come near ye nations and hear and hearken, O ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh Shah is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. That's right. And then that's what the Lord already planned. You know, and the scriptures say that the Lord's word is not going to go out of void, return to him void. So it's already it's already written. So it, it's your your destiny to be uh, destroyed or your fate to be destroyed is is inevitable, man. Yeah. You know, Yahusha is gonna come. He's gonna destroy your armies and take take you Edomites down, man. And he's gonna put you in captivity. But again, before before um he gets to you Edomites, you're gonna see your kingdom crumble right in front of your your eyes, man. By Yahweh and the chariots. Right. It says, For my verse five, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come upon, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. That's right. And that, that word Idumia means uh you know the is it uh 
I do mean is eat them. Eat them. Eat them. Yeah, or I or I I, I, I dumb. I I I dumb. Which I the one is Edomites. Edomites. That's right. Yeah, so, so yeah. you Edomites, man. Hey, the Lord's coming, and especially you know those uh, small hatters that are in, in in the Holy Land, man. Yahweh is gonna pay a, a special visit to you too, man. It's yeah. not just uh, here in Babylon. You Edomites that are over there in the land defiling it. Hey, that's the Lord's special land, man. So uh, you got a special judgment going over there too. Yeah, well, that that land gonna be hit with nuclear missiles too. That's right. And uh, utterly decimated, but unlike America, that land is going to be rebuilt by you Edomites and the rest of you nations. And it says the Edomite Idumian descendants of Esau. Yeah. <laughs> so it's coming, it's coming for you. So it ain't just about Esau, old E. No, it's about his his descendants. All right. It's about his descendants as well. So it says, and it shall come up uh, for the curse of my uh, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. And upon the people of my, of my curse to judgment, the sword of the Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai is filled with blood, and is made fat with fatness, with the blood of the lamb and goats, and with the fat of kidneys and ram of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So with, that, yeah. that great judgment is gonna you know consist of you Edomites, man. Yep. This is uh, Acts chapter seven verse seven. And a nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, saith the Most High. And after that, they they come. And after that, shall they come forth and serve me in my place. This is when the Lord was speaking about uh, our deliverance from Egypt. But it's, it's coming again from this Egypt. Uh, it says, but I will punish the nation that enslaves them. He, he did that to in the ancient Montezariamites, the e Egyptians. He going to do that to you Edomites. The Most High said, "In in the end, they will come out and worship me in this place. So we're going to, just like we did in the ancient world, we're going to come out and we're going to uh, worship them in our land. Okay? And I'll, I'll end it off with this. We'll close it out with this, brother. Have this, have this, oh, know, bring it out. Bro. You know, bring it out. Revelation 1 and 7, you brought that out? No, I didn't. Let me bring it out. Me, me uh, it out. <clears throat> Revelation 1 and 7, it says... Go ahead, brother. Uh, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are mine. Yeah. So, uh, again, he's not going to come in peace. He, you know, people believe that the Lord's going to come in, in peace just, you know, to offer, offer salvation and forgiveness to everybody. No, nah, man, the Lord's coming to destroy Esau, Edom, the wicked, and his kingdom, and those of our people, and of the heathens that have, you know, uh, taken alliance uh, with Esau, Edom, the devil, man. Yep. So it's going to be a, a, a very bad time. That's why the scriptures say the, the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yep. Does it say the great, happy, and joyful day of the, yeah, the that's Lord? Right. It says the great, dreadful day of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. Uh, this is Jeremiah 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he have driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I have gave, that I had gave unto their fathers. That's right, man. And just how, you know, how big and great the, the deliverance was from Egypt that even until this day is being spoken of, the Lord is going to surpass that this time around. And that's why, you know, it's going to be spoken of for eternity, man. Right. Because that, that deliverance from, from this captivity, this final captivity, man, that's going to be pretty much the last time we ever suffer, the last time we go through hardship. You know, it, it's, it's going to be the, the, the ending of our suffering and and uh, struggle, and it's gonna be the beginning of, of, of life, pretty much, you know? Yeah, and that land of the north that he's gonna deliver us from is North America, and all the other places where we scattered at. That's right. Hey, so with that, we can give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and Kalat Kadash. Say double honor to the apostles and bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word, truth, sincerity, for ruling well, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the elect. On to the next. Shalom.